Southern Utah, the first day of school now just two days away, but some classes may look a bit more crowded than usual. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero explains why. Brandi Johnson of Leverkin went to Hurricane High School years ago, and now her daughter Kaylin is starting her first year this week. I'm excited to meet new people and stuff. It's ginormous compared to when I went here, and um, it's just going to keep growing, I'm sure. Washington County School District officials say they are expecting 1,000 to 1,500 new students this year, a consistent number from previous years. But it poses its challenges as officials say they are struggling to find staff. We've had to shuffle some teachers around, but uh, we're getting there. Stephen Dunham, the district spokesperson, says they've moved about a dozen teachers around after seeing a decrease in enrollment in some schools and an increase in other communities. He says there could be up to 30 students in one classroom. What we'll do then is we'll bring in part-time help to help that teacher so that she's not um, alone with that many children. With more students in one class, school officials say they have to keep a watchful eye amid the COVID-19 pandemic and masks only being suggested. We learned a lot last year opening five days a week for in-person instruction. And we're going to continue to implement some of those best practices that we learned. That will include social distancing as much as possible. That will include frequent sanitization of common areas, um, hand washing, hand sanitizing, all of those things that we, we can control. There are some things that have been taken out of our control. That includes the masks. Denham says they need to hire four educators and nearly 50 part-time teacher assistants for classrooms as they continue to see rapid growth in Washington County. Reporting in Hurricane, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.